The Chinese appear to have embarked on a journey to the center of the earth, and it's no joke. Chinese engineers have begun drilling a huge borehole. In the bowels of the earth, going through 10 layers, they hope to reach rocks from the Cretaceous period, which are about 140 million years old. The task is extremely ambitious. The Chinese already call what is happening a historic mission and are very proud of it. At the moment it is planned to reach 11,000 meters, which will be a record for China. But what is it even for? You're on the Visioner channel and I care about your support. Subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. Enjoy the show. There are many rumors and scary hypotheses connected with wells that drilling the earth over 10,000 meters deep, you can reach hell. There is even one recording on which you can hear scary sounds that were recorded in one of the deepest wells. But opponents of this mission say that at such depths can be found not only the voices of sinners, but also more dangerous things for humans. For example, still unknown bacteria and viruses, or from the depths will break out a fog, after which, as in the movie, the haze will come a new apocalypse. What do the Chinese even want to punish? Is the Kola well the deepest or are there others? What awaits us at a depth of 10,000 meters? And is it true that terrible sounds of hell were recorded at the Kola Ultra Deep? Chinese technology is really amazing nowadays. But if you think that the Chinese are also ahead of the curve when it comes to drilling, they are not. Since the second half of the 20th century, people have tried several times to drill the deepest possible hole in the Earth. Since our school days, we know that planet Earth consists of three layers, the upper crust, the middle mantle and the deep core. In fact, the structures of our planet are very similar to the mood of a hen's egg, the crust is like the shell, the mantle is like the albumen, and the core is like the yolk. The Earth's crust is the thinnest layer of the globe. However, humans have still not been able to drill through it completely and reach the mantle. The thickness of the Earth's crust differs everywhere, in mountainous areas the thickness can reach 100 kilometers, while under the seas and oceans this figure is much less. It is believed that after extracting samples of the mantle, it will be possible to learn a lot of interesting things about the internal structure of the Earth and the processes that occur there. The first in the development of wells were American scientists, who in the early 60s tried to drill through the Earth's crust in the framework of the Project Mahal. They planned to reach the lower boundary of the Earth's crust, which separates the crust from the mantle. They thought this would be easier to achieve by starting drilling at the bottom of the ocean, where the crust is much thinner. They used the floating platform KAS-1, which sailed to the volcanic island of Guadalupe, which is about 3.5 kilometers deep in the Pacific Ocean. In the course of continuous work, scientists were able to make five wells with a maximum depth of 180 meters, but the goal was not achieved. The project was closed due to funding problems. Next, the batten of the deepest holes was continued by Soviet scientists. In 1968, construction began on a complex of facilities for drilling the Kola well, near the town of Zapolyarny on the Kola Peninsula. It is officially called SG-3, that is, the third ultra-deep well. The first drilling operations for SG-3 have begun in the Baltic Shield Rocks. The planned depth of the well was 15,000 meters. Special drilling rigs, their electrical parts, a complex of measuring equipment and other devices and equipment were developed for this project. Large-scale works were carried out exclusively with the participation of Soviet specialists. Initially it was decided to drill 13 wells in different regions of the USSR, in Siberia, at the Caspian Lowlands, in Ukraine, Azerbaijan, Tatarstan, and the Sverdlovsk region. But while these facilities had primarily practical purposes, like oil or gas production, the Kola Ultra Deep was conceived primarily as a research facility. The start of drilling was timed to coincide with Lenin's centennial anniversary. May 24 is considered to be the official start of the work. At the first stage, a serial drilling rig Euromash 4E was used, which performed well in the development of oil and gas fields. During the first four years with the help of this equipment it was possible to reach a depth of 7,263 meters. But then new technologies were required to pass through brittle rocks at high temperatures. The country's production set the task that not a single screw in the equipment should be made abroad, and in just a year and a bit a new unique drilling rig Euromash 15,000 was developed specially for COLA. 
But the 1984 accident set Cola back several years of work, and in the end it never reached the design depth of 15 kilometers. Almost 5 kilometers of pipes were lost, so it was necessary to start drilling again at 7,000 meters, and it was possible to reach the record depth only after 6 years. It was then, after this accident, that the first talks about the collision with the other world started. Although the failure was due to the impenetrability of the rock. The maximum of 12,262 meters was reached in 1990, it is deeper than even the deepest part of the ocean of the Challenger Abyss. For several more years attempts were made to increase the depth of the well, but in vain. Accidents one after another did not let further into the thick of the earth. This coincided with another not the best time for the development of domestic science. In the 1990s, funding for the facility was cut, so work on SG-3 was gradually coming to an end. The well was completely shut down in 1994. As for the screams and sounds from hell, things are a bit more interesting here. According to the most popular version of the urban legend, in 1989 there was an emergency at the mine. After reaching a depth of about 14 kilometers, the drillers discovered a huge cavity. At this depth, the temperature exceeded 1,000 degrees Celsius. Therefore, it was decided to lower a unique heat-resistant microphone into the well. Because of the very high temperature, it worked for only a few seconds, but during this time it managed to record the horrifying sounds, moans and cries of the damned souls unconverted to hell. After that, most of the workers fled, and the work managers categorically refused to continue drilling. As a result, the well was decided to be mothballed and the recording classified. The story of the Siberian well to hell circulated around the world for several years in various collections of urban legends and sections of topical newspapers. The second wave of its popularity came with the advent of the internet, almost a decade later, in 2002. The host of a regional American radio station, after airing a program about a hellhole, received an email from one of his listeners. The letter informed that his uncle was allegedly a passionate researcher of the paranormal and collected a huge collection, in which found in the same recording of the sounds of hell. The letter was accompanied by an audio recording, which the radio host played on his next show. Its appearance breathed a second life into an almost forgotten urban legend. The recording appeared on all the topical websites, making the hellhole one of the most popular urban legends in Western countries. From the themed sites it moved to the major tabloids as well, making its way to Russia, where it was not very well known before. The story became so popular that it could not help but be interested in all sorts of destroyers of legends and exposers of paranormal stories. They conducted full-scale detective studies, during which they managed to trace how one of the most popular urban legends of our time originated. So, on April 1, 1995, an article is published in Finland, in which it is reported that Russian scientists have reached hell. When they heard the screams of sinners being tortured by demons, they stopped drilling. The Americans liked this idea very much, and they began to promote this legend in full earnest. Later, the legend began to grow in details, their monstrous scream added a winged demon, which allegedly jumped out of the well and soared into the sky. So the well was called Siberian Gateway to Hell, although it was drilled not in Siberia, but in the Murmansk region. In addition, this article claimed that the depth of the well reached 14 kilometers, while in fact drilling was stopped at 12.2 kilometers. At that time there were no microphones capable of working at such extreme temperatures. And the temperatures themselves were not such, at a depth of 12 km sensors recorded a maximum of 220 degrees, not 1000 degrees. And the permanent head of work at the well was not the mythical Dmitry Lazarev, but the famous Soviet geologist David Guberman. Enthusiasts even managed to establish the original source of the infernal screams from the audio recording. It turned out to be a horror movie of the 70s, from which an unknown joker cut out several sound effects and after processing combined into a single record. However, despite all the investigations and denials, the story of the Siberian well to hell is still one of the most popular urban legends of our time. But despite this, in 1997, the Kola Ultra Deep Well entered the Guinness Book of Records as an example of the deepest human intrusion into the Earth's crust. In 2008, the SG-3 complex equipment was dismantled. Subsequent dismantling of the drilling rig was started for recycling and dismantling for parts, which continues to this day. 
Even after the cessation of active work at the Kola Superdeep for almost 30 years, it held the world record of 12,262 meters deep into the Earth's crust. However, in 2008, the Kola Ultradeep lost its record-breaking status because a well 12,290 meters deep appeared in the El Shaheen oil basin in Qatar. But for the moment, the record for the deepest well drilled belongs to Russia again. In 2017, a well was drilled offshore Sakhalin by Rosneft in the Sea of Okhotsk. The length of the well with a horizontal end is 15,000 meters, which is currently a world record and belongs to the category of ultra-complex wells. The Kola Ultradeep has yielded a lot of new information, with the help of which scientists have made several discoveries. For example, that the Earth is not a layer cake, and that the boundaries between granites and basalts are indistinct and start 3,000 meters lower than previously thought. The drill came across unique rocks with anomalously high gold content. This confirmed the hypothesis of an olvin belt around the Earth, which would be located in the third layer of the Earth's crust. The Olvin Belt was a hypothesis of scientists in the early 20th century. They hypothesized that beneath it was a giant deposit of molten gold. It was also proved that rare earth metals are much closer to the surface of the earth, only at a depth of 1.5 to 2,000 meters. At a depth of less than 9 kilometers, uranium deposits were discovered. This was a confirmation that it is possible that both oil and gas may not have a biological origin. Remnants of organic life have been pulled out. The cores prove that living things on planet Earth appeared a billion and a half years earlier than thought. So back to China. According to one theory, the purpose of the Chinese drilling is to study the mantles. It's now known that the mantle has a big influence on the crust above. It is involved in the movement of continents, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and so on. Therefore, the study of mantle rocks can provide a lot of information about future cataclysms and changes in the Earth's surface. After all, within the framework of the Makhole project and during the drilling of the Kola Ultradeep well, people failed to reach the mantle. Either there was insufficient funding, or equipment capacity, or the thickness of the Earth's crust was too thick. But the Chinese were too late here too. Today, samples of the mantle have been found. Engineers have long ago created reliable ships, drilling tools that can withstand even the most extreme conditions. And the GPS navigation system has no problem keeping the drill rig as level as possible. In April 2023, geologists and other scientists boarded the research vessel Jada's Resolution and set out to drill a new, deepest underwater well. They found a good place to drill. The choice was the Atlantis Massif, which is a group of seamounts in the North Atlantic Ocean. In 1981, scientists discovered that together the connection of the American and African continent, there is a particularly thin layer of the Earth's crust, which is less than 1,000 meters thick. As a result, in a few months, the ship's crew was able to drill a well 1,267 meters deep. Compared to the previously mentioned projects, this is very small, but thanks to the choice of a place with a minimum thickness of the Earth's crust, scientists were able to extract samples of the mantle. Therefore, the Chinese have only to study the Earth's rocks and look for minerals. Only the main thing is not to find something worse than the sounds of hell. The world still remembers the coronavirus and where it began. That's all, subscribe to the channel and write your comments.